What can we help you out with? Huh? Yeah, you don't want to get an abortion. Why not? Because God hates abortion. The Bible says that God hates the shedding of innocent blood. And I know you're going to think that maybe it's not a baby yet, but in Exodus chapter 21 in the Bible, there's a scene where a man hurts a lady that's pregnant, and she miscarries, and the baby dies, and God required the life of the man that hurt her. It's a blessing from God. It's not a curse. We can help you, bro. The hundred ladies have come alongside you. You know, the Bible says, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever we sow, we're going to reap, and this is sown to death. Please come talk to us. What can we do to help you? What can we do to help you? Yeah, really? Oh, yeah. The Bible says with God all things are possible. Yeah, I know the Bible. Well, then you know it's wrong to be here. Well, the Bible doesn't say it's okay to kill somebody if you're if you're young and underage. But the Bible also says God, you can repent and God will forgive you. Yeah, but in 2 Timothy chapter 2, I want you to realize this. The Bible says to correct those that are in opposition if perhaps God would grant them repentance. That doesn't mean that you get it. It means perhaps He will, that maybe He will. It doesn't, you have no guarantee that tomorrow you can, after having an abortion, that God is going to forgive you. It says, perhaps, God. And the Bible says that, behold, today is the day of salvation. That's why you told us this God and all this stuff? What's that? That's why you told us this God and all this stuff? That God what? Nothing, sir. Well, it's... The scriptures also teach that, you know, presuming on the riches of God's mercy is really just storing up wrath for the day of wrath. Just to do something and say, he'll forgive me later is actually storing up wrath. And, I mean, you're not going to look back on this day and be like, that was the greatest day of my life. So many things were relieved. But so you're going to be a non-vet, right? No, not bad yet. Huh? Really, really yeah, my don't want to do it. it. Your daughter was a Vietnam vet? No, no, he's going in now. Uh, Marines. Marines? Yeah, because I found their head. I found it in a Oh, you found the hat? Yeah, I found it. <laughs> you need to protect her. Yeah, I'm going to put it in. You know, you, your daughter's going to go in the Marines to protect other people. You need to protect your own yeah. son or grandson here. Honestly, guys, God hates this, but God promises. He says in Matthew 6.33, To seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. He'll give you everything you need, even though it looks so dark, even though it looks so bad right now. I can send you down the street to Colonial Avenue and get a free ultrasound right now, and there's ladies there that will plug you into a whole network of services that can help you. And there's a lot of ladies that pray for this place every single day. That uh, Many of them are local that would come alongside and be your friend. Honestly, guys, God hates the shedding of innocent blood. And you don't want to be on the hating side of God. And I've seen many, many, many girls leave this place, and I've never seen one, I've never seen one, miss, miss, I've never seen one that's sorry that they kept their baby. You won't regret, if you make the right choice today, you'll look back and this will be the most blessed day. There's so many girls that come back here after they've had abortions, they cannot get over this. You know, 70% of all girls who have abortions contemplate suicide, and 30% attempt it. That's one out of every three will attempt suicide because they can never get over it. Oh, I'm strong. Man, you think you're strong. You think you're strong. 
but I'm telling you what, this is something way above your head. Please trust God today. Trust Him today. He just wants to help you. He sent us down here to help you. Y'all be down here every single day? Every single day, man. I've seen so many girls come out of here that don't go through with it. And every single one of them is, is so thankful. They come back and thank me. <clears throat> you can do this. And we've got people that can help you. Sir, don't encourage her to do this. I already have my mind set. Yeah, but I tell you what, I've seen God change people's hearts like that that have had their minds set. And we're praying for you right now. And there's people all around this country that are praying for you right now.